This is now the tracing corresponding to the induction of ventricular fibrillation at the end of the implantation of a subcutaneous ICD and the induction is performed by delivering via the programmer a 50 Hz DC Hz for a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seconds. So you can see the induction of a very fast and polymorphic tachycardia. Initially there are no markers since there is a blanking after the burst. The first markers are S because the heart rate is measured as the average of the last four intervals explaining that there is a little delay before the occurrence of the first T marker. In many patients, you can see a little of undersensing at the onset of the arrhythmia when the device is not very sensitive. But once there is the occurrence of the first T marker, then the device becomes much more sensitive. And then the quality of sensing is correct all along the arrhythmia. You can see here the onset of charging, then the top of charge, then the 65 joule in standard polarity is delivered with a return to sinus rhythm. So if we summarize, we can see that the ventricular fibrillation was correctly sensed and effectively terminated by the first program internal shock at 65 joule with a normal impedance. Uh, typically, uh, defibrillation threshold testing is performed at 65 joules, leaving a 15 joule safety margin. So in this patient, the functioning of the device seems correct and no modification of the positioning of the lid or of the box had to be proposed.